I have a tenant who lives here who is an artist, really good artist, who's been in galleries mostly everywhere. And she saw my work and she's the one who said, is this yours? And I said, yeah. And she goes, oh my God, you're good. You know, I mean, this stuff belongs in the gallery, you know? And I was like, ah, this is stuff that I do for a hobby. It's not really my profession or anything like that. This has never been my profession. I've always been into um, a medical biller. I've done that for many years, for 20 years, you know, and I started to do that and been on that forever. And um, moving to New York is when I basically started to paint. You know, I had much more time on my hand and um, hooking up with my friend that I know now, who's an artist, she's like, you're too talented and you need to show your work. And she has been the one who's been training me to do everything, like contacts with galleries, um, people that she knows. Um, she's always wanted me to volunteer in places when they want someone as an artist. That's the only way you'll get known. So I've done that and that's how I was able to get, you know, in some of these galleries as well as in um, BWAC. So it is a hard process. If you don't know anybody, it's definitely going to be really hard. I taught myself and I also learned a lot, like I said, from the tenant downstairs who, you know, I would draw more so than I used to paint. And she goes, you need to paint now. So I started to paint and this is what I've been creating most of. And I'm enjoying the painting more than anything. The drawing just went away now and now it's just basically painting with the brushes or art and whatever I can get my hands on. You pick up a canvas, you're like, oh, I can make this. So that's when I learned that I can buy a roll of my own canvas, make my own frames, and not have to worry about paying you know, someone to do it for me. So I do that as well. I frame my own canvases. These panelings I have made because I can't make these. Canvases I can make, but if you look at the back, these are wood wood. I paint on birch wood. Wow. See, these I have sent out and I have them made. Mm -hmm. I now, paint. what's the advantage of getting this? This here is better quality. That's why people, they love canvas, but if you paint on birch wood, you have a tendency of having it last much longer than anything. And it's a lot, the quality is better. Okay. Yeah. And plus, if you're a rough painter like I am, the canvases are too weak. If you look at the material that I use, I'm brushing, I'm scraping, I'm doing all of that. So canvas can't hold that too much. Canvas tends to, to bend and do all kinds of what where this. It's wood and it's great and I can work on it a lot better and be rough as I want to be without damaging the Interesting. <laughs> you know. Interesting. So that's how I really get all of these great colors and combinations and everything because right. it's so hard and it's easy to work with. None of this is brush. I don't use brush on this kind of stuff. This is all has to do with um, spatulas and tools and stuff like that, but nothing with painting or anything like that. It's done automatically with tools that you just brush on or use on like this, just to create that. Okay. No brushes, no nothing. So it's all simple stuff, you know, the movement of the paint, the, drum, the single lines, mm. I go like this. And then this big one here brings out all of the other colors. If you put color on this and you go like this, these are okay. the colors that would come out. On Interesting. Like this here, if you look, has forks. It's got ridges on it. Okay. These ridges are the ones that go side to side, up and down. You're giving me a lesson side, here. And up and down. I and, never knew about the yeah. different tools. You know, you always think of, you know, just a paint. A paintbrush, right? And that's it, yeah. I get tired with paintbrushes. I love painting with paintbrushes when I do paperwork. But with, when it comes to wood stuff like this, it's all these things that I work with. Because it's a lot easier to manage clean and to do, which I love. Interesting. Yeah. The Very same thing with this here. If you look at these. Feel it, you can see the ridges, and it has, it's like molding. All that is done again with, with these materials. Okay. With the brushes, I can't paint this, so this is all done with, with these materials. Color-wise, um, I learned a lot from Linda, who's the one who lives down, I mean, rents downstairs, and she showed me a lot about oil, acrylic, um, lots of things, so she's helped me along the way. I'm telling you, you, you go through colors every, all the time. So I definitely see a lot of green. Yeah, this is like the green. 
And let me show you where I work. This is all my stuff here that I have also. Wow. And this is the new project. And you work in pastels? Now. Yeah. Yeah, pastels, and this is the oil paint I'm telling you now that I'm working on, which is, um, Oops, you gotta come out. Chalk. There's a gimmick to this, because it's four panels. it's um pastel um oil mm -hmm. i have to seal it now oh so that okay. way and i have to what seal do you seal it with i seal it with um any kind of um polyurethane satin you know finish or whatever but i also have to go like this and fill in the edges that are not filled in you see how mm. it, that's how it starts to get in with just your hand you can do it see mm -hmm. once you color it with the pencil Wow. And then it starts to change, color starts to change and everything like that, so. Interesting. And these are some other ones that I do. Show here. It's like a sunburst. Mm. It's very crazy. It's kind of wild, which I like. You know, I paint every day. Every day I paint because for me, there's always something that I need to do, which is painting is one of them, you know. I can't, you know, there's times I say, I don't, there's nothing I can do, but it's not true. I paint most of the time. So I paint one a day. This here is my work area. I have, it's a mess everywhere, but it's got all my paintings that I do. Tons and tons of paintings that I do. All the work that I do, series of things that I do. I have more stuff here. If you come this way, this is a project that I was doing for a friend of mine who actually wants a door done. And this is the door actually, and it's not finished yet. I still have some more things to do with it. I'm adding some red, as I said, I like. It's not done yet. And these are the two awards that I got from Marty Markowitz, artist extraordinaire. And also I got another one from Eric Adams. He's the New York City Senator. Gave me one also for doing that mural project that I was telling you about. That's it. This is another one that I was telling you I'm working on right now. This is actually the oil pencil. It's something new that I'm trying. And if you look, it's kind of like a, it's got a Miro, Miro kind of look to it. <laughs> Who's my famous artist, I love Miro. I actually went to Spain last year to go see the museum, which was really great. And these are all different panels. You take them out, see? And it's a mixed master of whatever you want. You can create your own. Picasso, you can move it around, move it this way, do whatever you want with this. That's the kind of art that I like when it's abstract. So you can do it this way or you can separate them. This one also is the same thing. These you could take, what I like about these, you can move them around, see? You put them together, you put them separate. I like art that you can really work with and not just, you know. Some art get boring all the time. This kind of stuff, you can twist it around, do whatever you want with it, which is really good. 